thank you. Well, we are taking you beyond the ballot tonight. Kamala Harris campaign event stretching from the first coast to coastal Georgia today. This is her just moments after landing in Savannah, and we have team coverage of these events. We're going to check in with Riley Phillips, who is live in Savannah. But first, Rich Johnley joins us from downtown Jacksonville following a news conference by Mayor Donna Deegan about affordable housing that served as a campaign event for VP Harris. Rich. The message Mayor Deegan wanted to share was how she believes the housing plan Vice President Harris released will help more people on the path to home ownership, which she says will also help the city of Jacksonville as a whole. You know how we continue to perform as a city that's, that, that is so attractive to so many people? We do that by creating policies that give us the greatest return on investment. Mayor Donna Deegan was joined by Democrats at the city and state level for a Harris Waltz campaign stop to promote Kamala Harris's housing plan. Families are struggling to make rent each month, and the goal of buying a home is currently out of reach for many of our neighbors and throughout the state. Under the plan, the vice president calls on 3 million homes to be built over the next four years, tax incentives for builders, and $40 billion for local governments to fund housing solutions. I love the fact that it gives us incentives at the city level to create policies that actually make this better. Travis Moss owns a company that builds homes in Jacksonville, including the one where the campaign event was held. So of course, this house is under construction, but just for, you know, we do granite in all our homes. Moss says city pilot programs on home ownership have increased the amount of first time buyers in the housing market. This is the most I've seen since I've been doing it of people getting qualified in those price ranges who probably thought that they couldn't get qualified. So the programs are you know, definitely helping. 17 of the homes Moss's company built in the last year are considered affordable and priced between $190,000 and $225,000. Moss grew up in Jacksonville and built his mother's house after watching her rent almost her entire life. It's definitely personal because I relate to the, that, that, that those communities, those where I'm from, and those are the people that I really want to be able to help. We reached out to the Duval GOP about the vice president's plan. Part of a statement from Vice Chair Steve Adams reads, quote, infusing more free money into the housing market would only fuel inflation and drive housing costs even higher. Mayor Deegan said that city council will have the determination if her home buying pilot programs will continue. We have links to those resources within this story on our website. Reporting live in downtown Jacksonville, Rich Donnelly, First Coast News on your side.